former FBB Femina Miss India 2020 Nagaland Zuchupeni. Tungoi will be representing Nagaland as one of the top 16 finalists for Leva Miss Diva 2023, which will be held on the 27th of August. Tungoi is the first contestant from Nagaland to secure the top 16th position. Zuchubeni does not need much of an introduction. Known for her beauty, confidence and determination, Tungoi is someone who has a lot of feathers on her cap. She is the Kids for Fame 2011 winner, Miss Dimapur 2019, a top 25 contestant in the stage season 3, Femina Miss India Nagal in 2020 and not forgetting, she is also a singer. Tungoi is currently undergoing training and grooming session for the forthcoming pageant. Hornbill TV could connect to her virtually during which she spoke about her journey to Miss Diva 2023, her preparations and her hopes and expectations. Let's have a look. Hello, I've been doing very good and the training and the grooming session has been very hectic. As we are all aware that pageant, grooming and training sessions are always hectic, but it has been very fruitful. Um, I came very naive. Of course, I've been into pageants before, but there's so many things that I had to unlearn and relearn, which I am in the process. So, so far it has been really nice and I'm really looking forward to the finale. My journey to Leva Miss Diva 2023, I would say it was um, a decision that I made within days because initially when I started off with pageants, we did not have um, engaged women or married women coming in to participate. But now that the criteria was lifted, it was a great opportunity for me to um, look forward to. And so I applied for the audition and that's how I got into it. Uh, yes, there was an audition. Uh, initially, we were asked to send our pictures and a walking video from which they had filtered only 200 girls for the on-ground auditions. And after which we were, um, uh, we had an on-ground audition here in Bombay among 200 girls, only 16 was filtered. And thankfully I was one of them. Um, Femina Miss India was a really good experience for me, but I would say I was very young at that time. Young in my heart, young in my thoughts and a lot of expectations with life. I think what I've learned now is not to expect so much. Um, and if you have given your best, that's it. I have accepted to um, not expect so much out of life, but rather live in the moment and perform the very best. And I think that's exactly what I'm doing. So what I've learned from that pageant has been to not to be so attached to the outcome, but rather live at the moment and experience every bit of it and improve the person you were yesterday. Um, that has been a very challenging experience for me and uh, I did not get the crown, but that experience really made me grow. And like I've mentioned, I think during Miss India, I was very naive. I was very attached to the outcome as to how am I going to turn out to be. Um, there were a lot of questions and there were a lot of expectations, but I think right now I'm in a much calmer space. I don't have big expectations from life, but rather I believe in living in the moment. And I think that's my greatest strength because uh, I think that is also what's required given the pressure that we are surrounded with to be calm by yourself and understand that no outcome is actually based on what you're capable of. Um, sometimes the universe aligns things according to what it has assigned, what ha has been assigned for you. And sometimes it doesn't work the way we think. So we have to accept and move forward irrespective of the outcome. And that's something I learned. Yes, 16 contestants from uh, 16 different states and all with different experiences. So. I've asked myself a lot of many times these questions because if I were to compare ourselves in technical terms, there's so many better girls who are more talented than me, better body than me, um, much be much more beautiful than me. But what sets me apart, I realize, are actually my experiences. Um, the life that I've lived, nobody has actually lived. and. Um, the kind of experience that I've had in life has been harsh. And these experiences are actually what molded me. I am the only person who understands where I've gotten, how I've gotten and why I'm here. So I think that purpose in life is very unique to everyone. And that's actually what sets me apart. 
the biggest competition in the pageant i would say the biggest competition in the pageant is actually myself and this does not come from an overconfident point of view but rather an underconfident part of me because here i am not to compete with anyone here i am just to represent my state and uh, make sure that i'm using the platform in the right way the crown is just the cherry on top but everything that i do will represent just not myself but the people that um well or the place where i come from and that responsibility that i've taken is big and i want to execute that very well and i think um the greatest competition that i have at the moment is myself like i said um i don't know about if i have the confidence uh, to win because like i've mentioned before i am not really attached to the outcome i'm just looking forward to the competition in a very positive way where i'm able to represent just not myself but my people in the larger platform in the best way that i can and having said that i'm only worried about my performance i hope i'm able to pull it off well because it's also going, going to be one of my first times walking in a bikini and uh, of course it takes a lot of courage to come out of your comfort zone and execute it on a big stage like that um, so I, I believe that uh, the crown is just the cherry on top but I think um, I'm happy where I am and I'm really not attached to the outcome uh, I just hope that I give it my best and I don't um, disappoint anyone Yes, I'm the first openly engaged woman in the history of pageants and uh, especially at Leva Miss Diva. And I would say I'm very lucky and very blessed because I think when I did get engaged, I had given up on my, uh, partially given up on my dreams for pageants and I was looking forward to something else. But I'm sure there is a calling for me that after uh, my engagement, I saw the news that now there is an inclusivity of um, every married and engaged woman being able to participate and I think that ignited a fire in me and I, I realized that I don't have to give up on my dream irrespective of my relationship status and that has been a really empowering um, message for me and I would also like to encourage everyone out there you are married or not married or you're engaged I think we are uh, we are deserving to uh, get recognition irrespective of our relationship and that's the message that I like to put out out there we as women sometimes we're so entitled to where we come from who's our father who's our husband who's our fiance and I think that shouldn't really limit us and the new amendment in the pageant history uh, yes has really empowered me in particular and I believe that it'll really empower a lot of women out there too As you've rightly mentioned that you know pageants are not just about a glamorous industry or making a girl look pretty on stage it comes with a huge responsibility and a responsibility about voicing out for issues that needs to be addressed and as an individual myself who comes from the northeast and nagaland you know i believe our region is in deficit of a lot of opportunities there's a huge gap between the mainland india and the northeast and my advocacy is to bridge that gap so that we can be more inclusive we can have more representatives because right now if we look at the social structure of how our country is it's a beautiful diverse country but so many people are not aware of where the northeast is in fact many many times we are about, uh, we are faced with racial discrimination and we are asked which country we are from many a times i've been asked my uh, my passport to prove that i'm an indian and i feel like that has been um, uh, a bit of a problem and I do not say that with a heavy heart, but rather I say that because I know that a lot of people who lack awareness. So my advocacy is just to bring that aspect of the beautiful Northeast uh, in the mainland and uh, mainstream India and uh, make sure that I'm showcasing the beauty of Northeast in the best way possible and bridging the gap that we already have. Uh, 
uh, I would say I'm very grateful to my people because uh, I never really expected so over uh, so much of an overwhelming response for everyone. I did not tell my family when I was participating or was even auditioning. I told them only after I got selected to top 16. And as soon as I told them, I received multiple calls from everywhere and uh, the support has been amazing. And I just want to tell everyone a big thank you for being there for me. You guys have always been there even during my Miss India times and I shall rem always rem uh, remain grateful. I feel a little emotional when I say this because I know that our people have a lot of expectations from me and I really want to keep up to that and I will try my best not to disappoint you guys. Um, it is not about winning or losing but uh, I will make sure that I, that I represent you guys at the best um, as best as I can. So my message through my participation would be, I'm a small town girl, I come from a very small town, I belong to a middle class family. Um, never thought that I would see myself in national platforms like this, but I always believe that coming out of your comfort zone is the key. And, um, and so I would like to encourage everyone who have been in their bubble to make sure you come out of your comfort zone. Of course, you do not have to be abrupt, but you have to be calculative as to understand where your strengths lie, how you can contribute to the society. And above all, um, I would say that God aligns things for you according to um, where your purpose leads you to. And so have faith in God and just continue doing what you do uh, and make sure that you look for the strengths in you and uh, use it for the greater good. Yes, there is a virtual voting happening and that is uh, actually not for the main event. It is a sub contest where we are nominated for Miss Popular Choice. And so I'd like to appeal to everyone to kindly go to my Instagram account and check out the post where I have appealed and also given the website where you can vote for me. It'll be amazing if you guys can just go check it out and cast the vote for me. Um, other than that, I'd, I would also like to thank everyone who has been showering their overwhelming responses. I'm very grateful and I feel so blessed. I just want to tell you all that I may or may not win, but I just want to tell you all that I would promise to represent our state very well and Northeast in general. Uh, keep praying for me and keep supporting me. Thank you so much.